Alright guys, I thought I'd just begin this video by googling what age you stop growing. So, most girls stop growing taller by the age of 14. In contrast, after the early teenage growth spurts, boys continue to gain height at a gradual pace until 18. Okay, cool. What about those people who just grew after 18? What about the girls who grew after 15? Are they just not human? Oh, what is happening here? Oh, well, that's irrelevant. See, the point I'm trying to get at is Google is not always accurate with this information. It fails to realize that there's quite a large genetic and environmental variance between a person to person. So, in this, in this, in this video today, we are going to explore just when you stop growing. Some of you may know already, but personally, I stopped growing at the age of 17. Yeah, I'm one of the unlucky ones. I stopped growing at a very early age. So what age will you stop growing? Well, buckle in your seatbelts, let's go explore. Like I already preluded to it, genetics has a pretty big role to play in this. So, the very first thing you want to do is ask your parents at what age, approximately, did they stop growing and have their growth spurts. So I asked my mom and dad, and here's what they said. My dad stopped growing at the age of 19, whereas my mom stopped growing at the age of 14. So my dad had a bit of an extended growth spurt, whereas my mom, pretty average. And that goes to show you, for me, I stopped growing at the age of 17. Boom, there you go. I'm right around the average end. And yeah, with that being said, that's the end of this video. No. No, that is not the end of this video. I was just joking with you guys. Well, if genetics are the determined factor of everything, why can't we just predict everyone's height off the bat? Why can't we just predict how tall you'll be, how strong you'll be, how this, how that? You know, it's not everything. Environment has something to do with it as well. Due to the unpredictable nature of at what age you'll stop growing, it is even, even, it's even harder to predict this then how tall you will be in the future. Like in the previous video, what I've done is I pretty much compiled a different a bunch of different factors after discussing with family, friends, and everyone to see what, what did they notice when they stopped growing to hopefully be able to tell you guys that, oh, maybe you're no longer growing. So yeah, here are the factors. Factor number one, you no longer feel as sleepy or need sleep as much as you do when you were growing. When I was growing, I was sleeping easily 9 plus hours every night, and so was my friends and my family. While some of them slept 8 to 9 hours, and then reduced to 6 to 8 hours after they stopped growing, for me, I think at this point, 7 to 9 hours makes me very, very comfortable with my sleep. But for everyone, maybe different, but the one thing is, you will surely notice a significant decrease in your sleep time. Factor number two, your appetite goes down. Well, at least for me, my appetite went down a lot after I stopped growing. But some people have said that their appetite did not go down as much when they've stopped growing. So I'm not too sure if this is just a me thing or could be, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely stopped eating my 5,000 per day calorie diet which is definitely not healthy on a uh, digestive system and maybe consumed about I say about 3,000 calories at the age of from the age of 17 when I've you know stopped growing any taller. Now the next sign could be a double-edged sword. You become very strong very fast uh, compared to the people in your age group. Now what do I mean by this? We all remember that athletic freak in high school. Think back to them. Okay, do they end up very tall? No. Why am I so sure of that? Well, those people, unless they're truly gifted genetic freaks, which less than 1% of people are, they've likely entered puberty earlier than everyone else. So they're pretty much at their like full height already at the age of 14, 15. But on the opposite side, that's granted them so much control over their body and so much more muscle 
muscle mass to produce the power and the force needed to be faster and stronger. And therefore, they're not going to grow any more taller because they're already pretty much fi finished puberty. So yeah, if you start noticing yourself getting a bit too strong, jumping a bit too high, running a bit too fast, then you're probably already getting used to your adult body. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Depends on how you look at it. Try to always look at it the positive way. At least you're, you're getting somewhere in life. The final sign, I personally did not experience this, experience this as my voice changed quite early, but some people told me that their voice changed quite significantly uh, after they stopped growing. So, uh, I don't know. I think that's a vocal cord development process. Um, that is not under like my knowledge, my scope of knowledge. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. Maybe that applies to some of you guys. So I thought I'd put that in the video just in case. If you're noticing these four signs, please don't be distressed. One of these four signs simply will not mean that you're going to stop growing. Okay. It's usually a multiple, multiple, uh, of these four signs combined together and that's going to indicate that you've pretty much finished out your growth even then some people can still squeeze like two to three inches it really just depends on the person and with that being said that's going to bring us to the end of another mama's video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all next time peace